ass, dog. <laughs> What's up, War Room Nation? This is Jimmy, a.k.a. Jim Duncan, a.k.a. Jimbo Slice, a.k.a. Jim Braham Lincoln with the beard. And welcome to another edition of Operation Battle Rap brought to you by War Room Sports. We have a long roundtable today. Pause that. Uh, starting off with my brother, B. Austin. What's good? Yo, shout out to all the beautiful women who have been sending me letters and roses and chocolates. After they see that hat, they may stop, good brother. Yo, <laughs> the hutch. You always got to wear your Jimmy hat. <laughs> Whoa, pause that. Yo, the Hutch, what's good? Man, it's a beautiful night to discuss Battle Rap. Let's get it. All right. The Hater, the Battle Rap Bayless. Kyrie, what's going on? Not much. Let's get the chop in this fable. No doubt. We got the homie Marlon at the round table. <laughs> Marlon, he runs a, uh, on Facebook. He runs a Battle Rap group, so we you know, want to bring him on and get his opinion of this battle. What's going on, Marlon? How you? Yo, I'm chilling. It's all good. I've been waiting to do this. Let's get it. That's right. And anybody want to send him slander is at keeps it 250 on Twitter. Um, what we're going to do this evening is we're going to break down the battle between goods and X Factor. Um, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Brother B. Austin, who won the battle? What was the score and why? Goods won the battle. Goods won the war. Um, I have a 3 0. And I'd like to talk directly to X Factor, man. I appreciate your creativity. Um, I think that that I I saw where you were going in some of those rounds. I, I, I understood conceptually what you were trying to accomplish. Uh, with that being said, you, you, you didn't pull it together. Man. You didn't pull it together. Um, you may have embarrassed yourself. And and, and my biggest issue is that whole New York bias thing. Battle rap is a sport. So what do we do in a sport when we have somebody that complains about the officiating and the refereeing consistently? We poop on them. Like, stop, stop bitching. Stop bitching and drop your bars and understand that this is going to get 200,000 views, half a million views, and your fans want to hear what you have to say instead of your mental going south because you're thinking about the bias of the crowd who didn't boo you, by the way. Who didn't really boo you. They didn't boo you. So that's my whole thing with X Factor. I didn't think Goods was particularly devastating with the bars. But it didn't have to be. So 3 0 Goods. Yo, it's funny. I'm not like laughing at what you're saying because you're making valid points. But it's hard to take you serious with that hat on, B. I'm just keeping it <laughs> <big. laughs> Let me give you my opinion before I get the hutch. Um, I got the battle goods winning 2-1. I actually gave X Factor the first round. And that's very difficult for me to do because I was going to take it away from him just based on the fact that he said, you ass dog, so ass dog. Oh, when I rap, goodness. I smell your ass dog. Uh, <laughs> that is why dog. he you could not nice? have that first round. <laughs> <thing. laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yo. I was going to take it the way just because he said that. that those, yo, that bar sounded like my hat looks. Yo, that bar was, <laughs> yo, that, bar, that, bar, that bar was ass dog. But listen, though, I, I just like the first round because he really was on some good, good you know, good talks to the GMB grown man bars. But he, this nigga was talking about. You know, he was, he was talking real grown man talk, you know, about 401Ks and health plans. And the LLC. You know what I mean? LLCs, DBAs. Listen, listen, I relate to all that. I mean, I got all that. You know, Austin, this, listen, man, this is the kind of talk we talk off air about. Yeah, so yo, and, and I, 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 talk, I appreciate I, I, that. I, I, but it wasn't. I understood the concept. I saw where he wanted to go. Mm -hmm. But because I appreciate the concept and where he wanted to go doesn't mean that I think that you executed it. Well, put it like this. Put it like this. Put it like this. The first round, the first round to me was the closest, right? I give him that. I, I kind of don't want to because of that ass dog thing. But outside of that, I did like his first round. Conceptually, I thought it was well. I think that that round worked the best out of all his rounds. That round was an ass dog. I mean, but but at the end of, at the end of the day, though, three. I just can't give him the round. No, no, I respect that. But at the end of the day, it's also one of those things where you have to know your audience. Like we like it, but yo. I talked to a lot of fans and they didn't even know what he was talking about. They like, yo, yo and then because that, that's the all, yo. Real, let me ask you this, Jimmy. Let me yeah. ask you this. Go ahead. So when you're looking at, at at Bull Spit, it's like you saw where he was going, you understood what he was trying to accomplish, but did you think that he executed? Did it come off? 
Well, here's the thing. You have to look at whether it worked with the crowd and whether I appreciated it. A lot of times, you know, the crowd, the crowd, the crowd doesn't fall for because things, but I may watch the mid, it at home and appreciate it. But here's the, the thing. Mid, you know the Midwest cats, they have this sensitivity to their performances in New York. In this not particular all, not case, all did all you all hear all the booing? No, no, there, no, but he was bitching about the crowd. Yeah, no, I'm saying he was, but it was it was kind of a more of a silence thing. Like they weren't rocking with it. But here's my thing, though. Here's my thing. I will give him that round. Outside of that, like, yo, in the second round, I don't even remember what he said, and I watched the battle three times. In the third round, he completely lost me. Now, I can tell you fact, what I know what it was. In the second round, he was talking about saving hoes or something, right? Yo, he was talking right, about then, saving a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't condone that. Yeah. Yo, I can't up, condone. Up, yo, you don't listen, love him. Listen, you don't love listen, him. All right, all right, forget it. But then in the third round, he was telling a story that completely didn't go over. I had no idea what he was talking about, who the people he was talking about. So I just don't understand how he thought that would work. With that being said, X Factor has talent, man. Like he has this thing. Like back in the no day, remember, he, used to, he used to choke all the time. But the X Factor that won against Rich, X Factor that won against DNA, that's what I wanted to hear. Like if he would have just went ahead with the first round and talked to his grown man talk, and then just jumped into them bars second and third round, like he, you know, he's capable of doing, then the battle may have went different. But at the end of the day, he start telling a story about, you know, this girl that he picked up hair and I'm like, yo, I don't know what you're talking about, B. He kind of lost me. She and had the thing three was, kids, and I got her pregnant and had a fourth. And <laughs> yo, <laughs> oh my here's the point. Before I move right on to Hutch, here's my last point, B. Austin. I was talking to a lot of people this past week about the battle, ever since it dropped. And, um, you know, shout to Smack it in for dropping the battle. But I talked to a lot of fans on Twitter, and some of them was like, yo, I had one dude literally tell me, like, yo, I don't have health insurance or a 401k, so I felt like he was dissing me too. And this is one of them things where it's like, yo, you have to know your audience, yo. When you come to NY or anywhere in the East Coast, yo, we want bars, we want punches, we want schemes. Because not all the Midwest guys feel that way. Because look at uh, B Magic. B Magic gets love. And the reason is his style. He punches and punches and punches and punches. You know what I mean? So this is the, you have to, you have, you have to, that's what I'm saying. You have to know your audience, though. You know what I mean? Like, and this audience wasn't ready to hear about, you know, 401ks, health plans, DBAs, LLCs, and they wasn't they really weren't trying to hear about saving hoes and um the story that I have no clue what was going on there. Um but that's just my opinion. I'll give them the first so make a long story long, two one, two one goods. And to just to speak on goods real quick, um it wasn't the best I've ever seen goods, because goods definitely has talent. Goods to me is best like either making music or doing the cipher, because he kills ciphers. But this was the best goods I've seen in a while. You know, he he, he was very, like, you know, he was, he's polished. Like, Goods is a veteran. So it wasn't his best, but it's the best I've seen him in a while. So I hope to continue to see him in the ring because the battle he had right after that with Shotgun Shug, he was in rare form. He went off on that battle. So shout out to Goods. He did his thing. But it's more about what X didn't do than what Goods did. Yo, with I'm gonna tell you, yo, man, X was so bad. I... I don't have anything to say about Goods other than he won 3-0. He definitely won, you know what I'm saying, and then shout to him. But you can see that he's, like, you know, kind of making a comeback or taking it. I don't think Goods has been taking it serious over the last couple of years, to be real with you, since, like, the Con battle. Because the Con battle, he was dope. Um, before that, in the Lions, then he was crazy. Then he just went on this thing where he was just battling, but he didn't look like he was that much into it. But every time they get in the cypher, he bodies the cypher. Anyway, Hutch, man, what's good, homie? Uh yeah, so I'm gonna say three zero again, uh, which is probably the general consistency besides you, Jimmy. Uh, so and that's the exact reason why I did, didn't give him the first round. That you ass dog was ass dog. So he, he <laughs> um, and like <laughs> like B Austin and shout out to Neef. Uh, he touched on this too with him. His whole performance X Factor is better than that. Uh, I think he. He has he and this whole bias thing I think that's BS to be honest with you because the first round like he was when he was saying the LLC and all that stuff they was rocking with him they was rocking with him the first round but he kept doing it like me and Kyrie was talking about this the other night like if he did that better sprinkled that at the end of every round like you because that's that's good's whole angle grown man bars so all right I'm gonna tell you what grown man bars is and that line where he say, you know, you grown man pissed, but I'm doing real grown man shit, that could have yeah. been his, his closer every round. That would have bars and then ended with that grown man shit. Every, that would have been a whole nother battle, but he didn't do that. Uh, 
The second round, he did that story like you were saying, and the third round, which was his worst priorities ever, because his priorities is breaking people down, usually in battle form, like your bars, you said this, this is how you should do it. He's just basically telling the story that he already told in the second round, mind you. Was and, it the uh, same story or was it? Was, yeah. Like no, it was, a, it was a different story. No, no, no. I, I, thought so same, I thought it was the same saving some more hoes. I mean, I don't know. So yeah. said, all right, so he said good save two hoes then. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. He no, he saved no X Factor saved one hole. Yeah, and X Factor he, saved the hole in the second round. And then, then in the third round he pooped on goods for For not saving being, the hole. Uh, for and not that, saving the hole. <laughs> and then he yeah. And the same hoe he didn't save, he elaborated on priorities because he said you, you need a thousand dollars or whatever. Anyway, like if you want to say that, like, the crowd, if you take it back <laughs> to Summer Madness 2, when Iron Solomon, this is to the Know Your Crowd, Jimmy, he's talking about Mook and this whole story about him and a work visa. People in the hood don't know nothing about a work visa. So they booed him. Like, X Factor, he didn't get booed. They just didn't know what he was talking about. And then I think, like, he was just hating because they wasn't rocking with him. Like, he said the, the forest burning and how, like, the force burned like kids in a house fire and paused like that was going to get a, a big reaction and it didn't happen. And he's like, oh, they hating. They hating. You can't. Like, you said, ain't nobody hating. No. Bars are just subpar. I'm just saying, like, that's an easy out, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how sometimes you watch a uh, uh, basketball game and somebody is getting cooked and all of a sudden they sprain their ankle or they, uh, you know what I mean, they got a hamstring? That's an easy out, yo. They ain't messing with me. They ain't messing with me. I didn't want to run the 400 in high yeah, school. Right? My coach put me in the 400. I pulled my hamstring. Yeah, so, so that, that's the easy out, man. But anyway. The, his, the history behind this battle, they've been going back and forth like, you, great point. You expect them to great like, point. be clashing, clashing. Yeah, that's a great point because he was talking a lot of trash. He said he was going three old goods. Yeah. I thought he was going to come with them bars on top of bars on top of bars. And then at one point, then he said, let's get to these bars. And, and he, like, <laughs> nothing came after that. Like, nothing. I was, he, yeah. you know, I was waiting for him to get to them bars like he said he was, man. Anyway, man, let's let's get to the hater. But uh, you ain't had to come on the show like y'all pooping on us with the Dominique Wilkins. I, had to, <laughs> I just want to bring that up, man. Follow anyway, OG uh, Willie Hutch, my hat fans. You know what I mean? Yo, <laughs> battle rap playlist the hater. All right, I mean I don't know what you gonna say. This this uh battle. I Plain mean, and simple. Shock the world. Three O goods. Three O X. That's it. <laughs> so where's the shock? What? There's no shock with you it. Say <laughs> That's you it. think that you, think, you ain't give X Factor no credit? Was he ass dog? Ass dog. <laughs> He's been ass dog since the Aver battle. But here's the thing though. This is crazy coming from you because I remember me and you having a debate. I think it was about a year ago when you told me X Factor was like the top three in the world. Told me X Factor too. was at one point in my top five. Yes, I did. Yes. No, I did. you said he was okay. In the he top may have been top three, three in the world. world. You said, I, think this was after, I think this was after. Uh, in the world, Chris? Maybe, 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 maybe in the world, Chris. At the world? I think it may. I think it may have been after the um, SM1 or something like that. But Kyrie was very high on X Factor, talking about how right now he's the best and this, that, and the third. He and, was, but as I just said, since Aver, he hasn't shown up. I mean, this is true, man. I guess it's hard to like, you know, because he was bringing bars on top of bars on top of bars, and now quotables. Cold cut trio, like he was coming with stuff, but since then, and like he cold said, cut trio, ooh, appreciating, yeah. appreciating value, and he's depreciating now, yes, like he, he said is. in the verb battle. Yes, yeah. but I, yo, it's like I need to see him get back on his game, man, because like you said, he was one of the best, man. And this is not to take anything away from Goods, because it seems like we're talking about X Factor the whole time. It's just that he set the bar so high, and now it's like, yo, what are you doing? Um, because again, like I said, this was the best Goods in a while. Goods definitely had more Don DeMarcos. Yeah, Don DeMarcos was strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a little Don DeMarcos. He ain't deserved, though. He was, yeah, well, yeah, but he was yeah, killed like good, the... Goods was talking that ish, though. He, he was, he he was, was killing him. He was definitely killing him, man. Then he was styling on him when he wasn't rapping, like just laughing at him. And I'm like, yeah, he just... He's a anyway, funny man. dude. Your swag's all... Who, me? What? <laughs> <laughs> He was talking about his clothes. Like, Look what the fuck. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the thing though. He definitely is hilarious, man. And I'm, I'm gonna bring that back up when we give our. But what uh, was what was everyone's consensus on Earl showing up in the battle? Yo. Shout out to Chris. <laughs> Yo. Battle rap ventriloquist. 
Yo, that was funny. It was funny, and I know that he had a problem with it. My thing Yo, is, it's, sort of like a, was mad. it's just like a, it's just like the Lux thing, man. Like, listen, man. man. I mean, cats cats are getting creative, so it's like you gotta like try and do what you wanna do. But anyway, man. Shout out get... to my man Majin Dots on Twitter. They turned this into a carrot top performance. <laughs> yeah, my, Majin, Majin felt some tight way. He don't like all the props and all that. But anyway, man, let's talk to Marlon real quick. Marlon, what's going on? How'd you have the battle? What was the score? Who won and why? Yo, this battle was a easy, and and I'm a, this is me, 3-0 body bag by suicide, baby. Suicide. <laughs> by suicide. <laughs> X-Factor opened up the bag, jumped in, and zipped it up himself. Wow. Okay. How do you how do you go on? First of all, I mean, his first round. Okay, first round was all right. First round was cool, but I felt as though he started to break down in the first round. It was just like it was getting to him. Yeah. His second round to me was trash. I didn't like the way he executed it. And then the third round, you just give up. He just oh what up, dog, body bag. You killed yourself. <laughs> you killed yourself straight up. <laughs> you killed yourself. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you don't battle, ever right. give up, yo. Like, what about the people who couldn't come to that battle that the Midwest people and his fans from all over that yo. wanted to hear him finish his third? Like, that was Shut bad up. business. Shut up. Oh, and, and, and hold up. up. <laughs> hold, can I, I, I need to mention something. Go ahead, go ahead good brother. Mm-hmm. Um, And Kyrie, you may have something to say about this. We, we, <laughs> we, we've gone back and forth. You probably know what's coming. Um, Calico and Lux. Calico and Lux. Really? Really? Calico uh, won that 2-1? Yo, yo, Calico, you know what, yo, dog, you going to come to New York. <laughs> yeah, you going to come true. to New that's York true. and yeah. tell the crowd, in <laughs> my eyes, Calico won that 2-1. Dog, you lost the round straight right there with the crowd. Yeah, yeah. You lost the crowd right there. Yeah. You Your round is done. And you know what, though? It's one of them things. Even if you believe that, yeah, you know, even if he really, truly, genuinely believes that, which he probably doesn't, but if he does... It's like, yo, it's the thing going back to what we were saying earlier, Austin, knowing your crowd. That that wasn't going to work there, yo. It just wasn't. I could I see it that point, was really true. I think at that point he was trying to get booed to have something to complain about. Oh, so, oh, so you're, saying, you're saying he was looking for an out. Yo, and that's <laughs> Suicide a great, by cop. That's a great <laughs> but then he used thing, to try to figure and himself up. He's like, oh, and yeah, he had a phenomenal third, but let's give props to who did it first. I don't care if you did it first. It's yeah, stuff that people do first, but if somebody else do it better, you doing it first don't matter no more. Yo, but here's the thing, though, <laughs> Kyrie. My thing is, all right, you're saying that maybe he is trying to look for it out, and that could yeah. be true, but at the end of the day, like, yo, he was talking so much trash going up to this battle. This, that's why I was so disappointed because, yo, he said I'm a 3 0 him. He's the worst top tier in, in the world. Like, he was going in on goods. And yeah. Goods was like, okay, well, 3 0 me. Like, and Goods just went and styled on him. Like, I tell you, Goods is comical, man. Like, he, you know, he did his thing, man. And shout out to Goods again because it seems like we're just talking about X, but at the end of the day, that's what it was. That's what it oh, was. I mean, because Goods had everything. Goods had jokes. He had everything. Yeah. Yo, and, Goods and, came and, with and it. He right, did. He, bars bars was crazy. He, he said, yo, he went into them bars, too. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, you know, yeah. it is what it is, man. So I he, stretched he, too he, long. It wouldn't work out. I guess X her size. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There yeah. you go. Like, he went into them bars a little bit. Like, he got motivated. That's what I'm saying. To me, it seems like he hasn't been motivated. This joint motivated him, and, you know, he got in his bag. Although, again, I ain't going to front against Hollow to Don. I think he might have won that first round. Second round, Hollow won clearly. In the third round, he straight threw the bottle at somebody. So we never know how that would end. Well, he mentioned um, that, too. He bodied himself. He said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know. But anyway, man, shout out to Don't even get me started on that. Mm. That's I got good. notes about I got notes about that too. I oh, saw man. that battle. I saw that battle. Um, Goods, you lost, dog. It I mean, it I mean he's he four feet around, though. I mean, you, it dog, is what it is. Lost, no, 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 no excuses. No, <laughs> he lost, lost, dog. You lost. Just, I mean, he admitted it, though, but he, he admitted he lost, dog. I mean, he, but he wasn't asked, dog. <laughs> but he wasn't, he wasn't, but he wasn't asked, dog. <laughs> he wasn't asked, dog. <laughs> No, I got an ass dog right. if he ass dog. Man, he right, ass dog. dog is he ass dog. This, this <laughs> is the way I feel. This is the way I feel. If you lose a battle, if you lose a battle, man up. Don't don't come out later saying, "Well, I lost the battle because." No, you you just you lost. That's it. But listen though, here's the thing. It's only about like four or five people in the whole game that will admit they ever lost, which is funny because you know. I would rather you. Is, 
I would rather you not admit you lost than admit you lost and give an excuse. I respect that. I respect yeah. that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, man, he wasn't ass, dog. Um, <laughs> last thing before we get out of here, B. Austin, um, let's play matchmaker real quick. Who would you want to see in the ring versus uh, Good, and who would you want to see in the ring versus X Factor if you are the matchmaker? Um, I want to see Good and has Good battled Math. Did that happen? No, but I don't know if they they'll battle like they you know. But anyway, I, I, I yeah, yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, man, this is supposed to be a gladiator sport. So who's cool with who shouldn't yeah, even matter. Shouldn't matter. Goods and but, um, goods and math. All right. Um, I, I want to see X Factor X Factor uh, battle itself. I mean, I want to see him look in the mirror <laughs> and uh, spend some time sparring um, because he's got too much talent and too much ability to go down. On the drain, the way that he depreciates. <laughs> X Factor is probably. I mean, maybe, maybe it's the fact that he's working on his uh, LLCs and DBAs. He ain't got time to dedicate right. to his craft no more. Four one k. Yeah, getting that four one k money, man. All right, for me, asking, for me, if you asking dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of ass dog. But hold on though, for me, <laughs> the battle I want to see, I want to see a verb and goods, just because love or hate a verb. He's a comical dude. He's very funny and goods the same way. I think the trash talk leading up to the battle will be hilarious. The battle itself will be hilarious. So I can see uh, Goods and Averb go at it. In terms of X, I want to see X battle one of the up-and-comers like a Big K or a Chilla Jones or somebody like that. Um, somebody that will motivate him on a lyrical level that he knows he has to get in there and you know go bar for bar with. Because part of me feels like he like because he was disrespecting Goods, so part of me feels like he wasn't taking him as serious as he should have. So... I want to see him go with someone who's known to bring bars on top of bars and, and see if we can get the OX back. I mean, we shall see. I mean, it's hard to stay on top that long. As you can see, like, battle rap is like the BCS. One week, you the top, and the next week, like, nobody even cares about you anymore. Mm -hmm. OG Willie Hutch. Uh, I kind of was thinking the same as you with, uh, with goods, verb, goods and verb. That would be good, like, for the same reasons. They're both funny, uh, but they both have bars. Um, X Factor. I'm thinking uh, X Factor K Shine. Um, like he, you know, K Shine been proving himself, and X Factor need to prove himself again. So uh, that's I think that X and K Kyrie. How about you? I agree with the Aver uh, Goods battle. Also, maybe Goods and Calico. Uh. As far as X Factor, I like to see him battle on um, Luciano Crack. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but he seriously, is, seriously, no. He is part of the Suns. That's someone that's. Oh, anyway, no, really, I like to see X Factor battle ill will. Mm. Hold up, though. You think that'll happen? Because they're from, like, the same area. they both from, yeah. No, but ill will took shots at him before. Oh, he so. did. You know what? He damn sure did. You are right about that. Yeah, now, there you go. That, well, that there like, fits is, my then. criteria, too. There you go. All right. Marlon, you're a matchmaker now. Who are you putting X in the ring with? Who are you putting Goods in the ring with? Oh, so, Ill Will's team homie now. I guess I got to do this. Um, let's see. X Factor. Who am I going to put X Factor against? I guess with X Factor, I would pull... I will pull an old red. I want to have him battle female. <laughs> that's yo, that's yo, where I, yo, that's yo, where I feel that boy is at now. Yo, yo, oh man, yo, you Hold talk up. about you talk about you only good as your last battle, man. Like this dude, this dude got a resume, man. He put in work, man. Hold he had, up, a, wait a he had an off night, man. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. You ain't like, oh, let me explain. Okay, there was a bar that X used. He, he used the whole Bronx Tale Collagenol thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was whack, um, too, by the way. I believe her name is Jay Smooth. Okay. She used that, and she did it better. <laughs> so she did it better. So, so since she did better. it better, so since she did it better, I, I think they deserve a clash. Yo, Just, man, all, since yeah. all y'all hate the act keeps it 250, you know. Um, <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right, right, now, all right, now, all right, now, all day. Queen of the ring. 
By the way, though, let's keep it a bean, though. Ever since O Red went and did that, he's been killing everybody on the mail server, too. <laughs> exactly. It might, it might get X Factor to step his game up. All That's right, what now, I'm saying. All right, now, Goods, he wants to see Goods better. Goods, I would actually. See, y'all all on Goods and Aver. I'm actually thinking a battle for this whole King of Detroit. Goods. I mean, not Goods. Um, No, shoot. I'm messing up. I'm about to say, you don't, I don't know what. Yeah, I, 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 I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> I need my medication. I need my medication. I need my medication. Hold know what up. That means. Let, me, what that let means. me rewind. <laughs> rewind. I know I'm going to hear about this, but that's good. That's I'm good. Goods and Cal. Yeah, Kyrie, did you say that too? Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Okay. Going yeah. Cal Q later. Yep. Yeah, I know somebody said Cal as well. All right, cool. Well, there you have it, man. We played matchmaker. We broke down the battle. Everybody has Goods winning the battle. Everybody has a 3 0. I have a 2 1. I gave X the first round. Charity. Um, you it wasn't a charity, that. man. You were collecting on you, your taxes, Jimmy. Let, listen, I I, I, listen that. man, I like this first round except for the one line. The one line is the only reason I want to take it away, but yo, I'm going to let it slide, yo, man. You that asked, asked what, what was there to like about asked, that first dog, round? Don't you know that dog. first round was trash? No, man, we be talking that. He's, he's talking that real grown man talk to him. I love Yeah, but that, he was man. boring. Yeah. Listen, and I did like the bad service, bro. Wait, wait. I'm looking at... I'm looking at my notes. I I have nothing for X Factor in the first round. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, his first round wasn't. I mean, it was ass dog. But I mean, I mean, he got to the point. I even said he got to the point where he was just talking. He wasn't even. He wasn't even flowing no more. He was just like speaking his line. Yeah, dog, exactly. you're not. That's why you, I was it's not a speech, dog. You. <laughs> where, where's your flow? You asked, dog. Where's your flow? Listen, man, I hear you and all, man, but I give him that. It's not a – before Hutch even goes in, it's not a charity. I like this angle, man. I like, I like this angle on the first. If it wasn't for that ass dog, John, it wouldn't be that bad. You like an angle but not like the execution? Exactly. Mm. I didn't. But you're saying, thing, so you're saying his no, angle – No, 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 no. Here's the thing, though. He is competing. I didn't think Good's first round was that great either. I mean, it was okay. But, but I think his performance. Was okay. Yeah, Remember, I mean – I, I, I seem to recall. Paul, y'all had a discussion we about did. what goes it's, it's into more, it's more it's more it's than just bars, it's execution, it's, it's exactly. themes, it's exactly. angle. And now you're giving it to the man over a uh, angle. No, no what I'm about saying, the, what about the bars? What about the execution? Charity His execution was <laughs> y'all killing me right now, man. His execution was in a hefty bag with drawstrings. <laughs> Yo, y'all killing me. <laughs> Listen, man, I can't the first dog. round, man. The first round was alright. Just ask, me, dog. Man. Listen, man, everybody out there, make sure y'all rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, send it out to your friends. Slanderous, y'all can kill Marlon. I know Marlon ain't going here anyway. You know what I'm saying? So send Marlon all the hate mail, man. Um, I'm again, ready. man, this has been another episode of the OBR, man. Thanks for everybody who supports all our videos. Uh, you know, we've been on Vlad TV. Uh, Funk Flex put us on. So thanks to everybody for the support of the videos. Thanks to the 750 group, the Unbiased Review group, right. Marlon's group, the group on Google+. Plus. We're all over the place. But make sure to comment. Let us know how you feel. Let us know if you think Marlon is crazy. Let us know if you think Kyrie is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Let us not know if you week. like B. Let, let, it, let us know if you like B. Austin's hat. Um, you know, <laughs> it, it, it is what it is, man. Until next time, don't accept mediocrity. And X Factor. Or against ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> I see you jump so time. The wait is the war room with five nights at the round table. Five Philly guys, diversified and educated.